Johnny the Theater Lady. It is always good to have you on the show. You're getting around. Oh, I am, thanks to you, you and Berg Vivant. You I'm are having, out there. I'm having a wonderful time seeing lots of fantastic theater. And, and I uh, love it, every minute. You were most recently at Off the Wall Theater for a feminine ending. Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> That's a good place to start. Indeed. It was written by Sarah Treem, who actually taught playwriting at Yale hmm. School of Drama and graduated from Yale B with her BA and MFA, Masters of Fine Arts. So I think that right away tells you something about her talent. And she's, she's literate. Oh, extremely <laughs> literate. And she's also written some things for HBO and TV. She Ooh, wrote wow. several episodes for the Netflix deck of House of Cards. Deck of Cards. Deck of cards. <laughs> House of Cards. And you know, I, I've not seen that show, but I know that people are wild about oh, it. Oh, I know. So I guess if you're a House of Cards fan, you uh, may enjoy this show as well. And um, I found her to be extremely funny and witty. Her writing, I thought, was very tight and not a word wasted. Oh, well, Erica Cuenca played the lead role. Uh, yes. And she was Amanda, a young aspiring musician and composer uh -huh. who became engaged to an almost famous vocalist who was starting on his career. <sighs> We've all been there, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> played by Andrew Wind. Mm -hmm. And after she got engaged, it looked as though her kind of career and aspirations might have to be put aside for his. Oh, uh, okay. So that, that's kind of how it begins. Mm -hmm. Then she's summoned to her parents' house, and her parents, Ingrid Sonichsen, and I love this name. This sounds like a real actor. Weston Blakesley. No, oh, he is a real actor. her father. Yeah. <laughs> because it's a very actorly name. It is. It's, it sounds uh, very almost regal. The inner did he live up to it? Uh, did he, he did. All right, he delivered. All Wonderful right. performance. <laughs> and when Erica Cuenca was with her parents, mm -hmm. the electricity between them and the energy between them just was electrifying. Mm. The, the three of them and the way they played off each other, and particularly the mother and daughter, uh, was a true, I think, tribute to what great actors those two are, or those oh. three, because it just, you could feel it. It was so real and so much emotion, but yet so funny. This was truly mm. a thinking person's comedy. That's and it was good. sold out last night, oh. so I encourage people who definitely get your will tickets. want to see it, yeah. get your tickets, go go get them mm -hmm. before they're gone, because it was a great show. Good. And um, there were two young men, her mm -hmm. current fiance that I mentioned, and when she went back to her hometown, she ran into her former high school boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, and that was kind of interesting. That was played by Sean Cameron Hall. Oh, yeah, Sean Hall, graduate. indeed, indeed. Yeah. Uh, but there sounds like there's a lot of things that happen in this show that a lot of us can relate to. Um, Definitely. Which may be where a lot of the humor comes from. And it wasn't just the, the plot of her and what she may or may not give up if, mm -hmm. if and when she marries this young man that she's engaged to. It was about uh, parental relationships with her children. It was about relationships within a marriage mm -hmm. and dreams. Yeah. that people have that may or may not come to fruition. Uh, it, there was a lot of substance to it, and I walked away from it feeling as though I had spent an evening well because I laughed really hard, but I came out with a lot of things tossed around in my head that made me think about some things and kind of do some evaluation. I've seen photos of the set. The set looks very interesting. It's all uh, doors. Uh, composed of doors. Doors, I know. It was designed by Tony Ferrieri, who has been designing sets for 35 years. He's mm -hmm. won several awards for his set designs. Uh, he designs a lot for the city. In fact, he did the set for Charles Ives. Okay, yeah. That um, was actually a keyboard way up in the air. It was really a neat set, very Never. creative. But this one last night, I talked with um, 
Ricky Costello, who's the set carpenter for the theater. Oh boy, but she had a ball this said, <laughs> She said there were 79 doors on that set. And she said, but there are 80 because there was one in the lobby. And it was, the doors were so symbolic of the ins and outs of life and changes and mood changes, scene changes. It was, and the doors went all the way up to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they weren't just all lined up. They were arranged very artistically, I thought. Yeah, they've pulled off some clever designs in that space. They have. And again, the lighting by our friend Scott Nelson. He's oh, wonder, yes. He always does a great design. Scotty lighting. Nelson will light you up. He will. And he did. <laughs> he lit up that theater last night. Uh, top three reasons to see this show. Well, I think I already mentioned one. It truly was a thinking person's comedy. Mm -hmm. And another reason, I think, was the wonderful energy between Erica Cuenca and her parents mm -hmm. on the set. Um, the energy just truly was electrifying. Okay, boogie, it's, boogie. And the set, just to see that set, I think is worth walking in the door. Because is, that the, is that the third? I would say the, that the that set reason? was really genius. Wait, is the House of Cards is what, like political intrigue? I don't know. Uh, I've never seen it either. We gotta get it the time. We're, too big. We're out at the theater. Theater, I know. Yeah. I'll show you my masculine front if you show me your feminine ending. Hey! Move but maybe we should tell folks, you know, stop into the ladies' room before the show, then <laughs> you ain't gonna get a break in between. Or, there. in your case, the men's room if you wanted to. Um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was left over or what. Looking at it, I mean, it kind of reminded me of laughing. I kept expecting, like, Ruth Buzzy to pop out of one, you know? Slop it to <laughs> me! <laughs> Joanne Morley. Oh! Because it was emotionful, emotionless. What? You're making up Emotion words now. Have another I cocktail, am. Judy. I know. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs>